and we'll take all these guys out pretty easy whoa molten shell oh that was a big hit <laughs> nice and we'll even open up these and we'll get a little something and a contract very cool and that's the whole point if you watch that clip all these are firing off so now we're going to explain how to make this one but you can use the same kind of process to make multiples of the you know each of these so let's go uh, let's get into the video and explain exactly how it's pretty cool these are really really important um it'll make you it'll make the game a lot more enjoyable hello and welcome back to path of exile necropolis league and this is episode eight of the super detailed new player guide for getting into the um end game and yesterday or the last episode i said hey I'll, i'm going to show you how to craft one of these automatic um automated quicksilver flask so you don't have to sit there and press the button and it'll just move you around faster and faster and everybody wants to go faster so let's get into that and let's do it and we'll do a recap right now too and there's chapters at the bottom so you can skip ahead to different chapters uh on the youtube video itself and i'll try to make this brief episode one just like that we've done it and i'm going to let you pause and unless you want to see something explained like you could do three for one map at the vent uh uh, maps to get the next tier up in the vendors uh, the chaos recipe selling in bulk uh, getting item item filters extremely important we're gonna we've went over the glass bobbles before so you know how to get those um, we're gonna be using those this way poe awaken trade you got to get it and got to use it if you're in trade league it's really really key to everything earning your first divine and then we bought an upgrade uh, our gear last time so let's go to the next step I've automated all of my um, my flasks. All these automatically go. And if you ever watch some of the videos, you'll notice that the usage thing right here is firing off all the time in a really highly dense map. Um, it, it's firing off constantly. They're just constantly filling up and firing. It's a great thing. Now for bossing, it's a little bit trickier because um, it, it's trickier get, to get your usage charges back. Um, because it's just one boss, so then those might fail you in that sense. But if there's a boss with some adds, it'll help. But ideally, you want to hit the boss down so quick that he's just going to die instantly, and you won't have an issue with that. So let's go ahead and make one of these. Now, when you're making a flask, they're going to be, um, we're just making magic ones, and we're going to be rolling them, meaning we're going to be rolling the prefix and suffix. It has a prefix and a suffix. And the important thing is, see that um, the, mainly the suffix line down there where it says attack damage or this one it says increased critical strike or this one says attack speed. They have um, different tiers. But also, let's say I, I was like, wait, I want to just stack up tons of attack speed and roll attack speed across all there. It doesn't work that way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take the highest one and overwrite anything else. So if you get this one, or maybe it'll, it even, I'm not even sure, it might even overwrite, let's say you had an 18 attack speed here, and a 4 attack speed there for some reason, it might overwrite it that way when this one fires off. So you gotta, you gotta have, you know, one of each, like I've got an attack speed, crit strike, armor, and what did I put on there? Attack damage leached his life. Not a very good one, but we're gonna re-roll that, and we're just gonna keep that in mind to make sure you don't do any of these, because... Not only can you roll this flask like this, but let's say you want a diamond flask. It's the same way. We're going to, you know, use the same methodology. So let's make with it one of these. Okay. I'm going to go over my flat to my flask tab and I'm going to sort it by item level and then I'm going to sort it by utility. So it'll only show me the utility ones and I want to make a quicksilver so we can even sort it and make it highlight quicksilver. Here's one an 85 plus um, level one. And you wanna use the higher tier. If you don't have access to it, I mean higher item level. If you don't have access to a higher item level one, it's okay. It's just harder or somewhat impossible. I don't know if it even unlocks the higher tier rolls that we're going for. So I got a tier one and a tier two roll in there. So you wanna use a, a higher level one. So let's do that. And not only that, I'm going to set this one over here I'm going to put this one here and I'm going to grab a few of these as well. And I want to usually use the, um, not the magic ones, um, or I'm sorry. I want to use the normal ones because it's easier to quality them up, but we'll, we'll, I'll show you one of each. So we'll go like that and like that. Okay. 
So let's go on to the next step. We have our flask. Now you could also buy them off the market. You could probably get one for one to two chaos, maybe three chaos for one of these. Let's see what a base um, uh, item level base 85 is selling for. We'll click the item level base three chaos, four chaos. Oh, they get a little more expensive. So if those are dropping, you can actually sell these just like this, just a regular base. Um, you might be able to yeah, actually sell them for pretty good money. All right. So let's go on to the next step. We've got our um, actual uh, Quicksilvers here. Let's say you have one and it's um, already uh, magic. Um, that's kind of a bad thing in this case. We want to start off with one like that because it's easier to bobble them up to get the quality to 20. Um, so let's Id identify this. And if it happened to be a really good roll, like that is kind of a good roll. And you can look at it by going like this. That's a tier one roll. Normally, if this was a bad roll, I would come over here and I would take a, a scour and scour that off. Okay, because I want to start out with a nice clean blank slate um, so that I can quality it up very cheaply. So let's take a look at this. This item actually has a chance at being something good. Right now it has a suffix on there and we're going to add a prefix. So we're going to augment a prefix. We're going to use one of these. It adds either a prefix or a suffix and to a magic item reduce charges used that's actually a decent item now the problem is it's not uh, uh qualityed up so i'm going to try to sell it just like it is let's see what the price is if we just did that and that not bad 19 chaos i want to sell it cheaply and quickly let's just throw that in there for the 20 chaos and we're going to forget about that one but that was a nice, that was a lucky roll right off the bat. I think we could sell it for 15 chaos, no problem. But let's take a look at this one. This is the one I'm going to be shooting for. But um, if I make a nice one here, um, and if it's okay in, in levels, you know, something similar to this, I'll end up selling it. But this is the one I really want to uh, craft on and get a really good one. So let's take a, the first step on this one. We're going to quality it up first. If this was magic and it had bad stats on it, stats that you didn't like it or just didn't match up well, and I'll explain some of those, you just scour it down to normal. And we'll go like this. Notice how the uh, the duration goes up and up and up. Um, ideally, almost everybody wants a higher quality qu uh, flask like that, and unless you're using a special item called a mage blood belt, that makes um, your flasks in general um automatically on so duration wouldn't really matter for that person so we're gonna go from there so that's the first step we're gonna quality up both of these nice the next step is we want to turn both of these into magic ones okay let's do that we'll use a transmute right over here it turns an item from normal to magic we've done that before and we'll do it to both of these and then we're gonna look at each one separately okay so this if we hold down alt, there's quite a few lines there, but they're actually two lines are devoted to the prefix. And in this case, two lines are also devoted to the suffix. So what does this say? Less duration. Less duration would be fine for somebody that's using a mage blood, but then the reduced effect, that's all bad. So we don't like that one. We're going to reroll it. And this one, reduced effect of shock. Some people might use that. Um, and what you can do is as you're learning, you can actually test it in, 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 with PUE Awake and Trade. But this one has two, but this one doesn't. So we're going to need some of these. So I'm going to take a stack of these and put them right here in between them. Cool. And then I'm going to take a stack of these and put them right there. These are going to be our um, re-rolling. We're going to actually use these to re-roll. Now, at this point, you, you, you've you used four of those. They cost, I think they cost four for a... Oh, no, it was like three... Uh, for one chaos so we've got about a chaos invested and these are worth about three or four chaos if we were just to sell the blank so we're up to about six chaos of investment so far the more we re-roll every time we use four of these that's another chaos so we got to keep that in mind if you're rolling a hundred of these that's 25 chaos well what if the item you're shooting for is only 20 chaos on the board just go buy it instead but what i'm trying to do is actually improve this one now I could look and see if I could buy one that's better, but um, I just want to get a 
I just want to maybe get a movement speed and not that attack damage leached his life. Anyways, let's go back to this one. That one I don't like. This one we might like, so we're going to augment it. Nice. Reduced effect. That's absolutely terrible. It's going to, why would you want a reduced effect of that whole thing? You're shooting for move, more movement speed, so that's a bad one. So both of these are bad. Now let's focus on just this first one. We're going to right click and hold down shift so that I can left click and just roll. Okay, we got an attack speed. I think that's close to tier one. It might be like a low rolled tier one attack speed, but it's better than, let's see what I have on my attack speed over here. 17. I think this is like a 15 to 17 roll. Let's see. Hold down alt. Yep. It's a low rolled tier one attack speed. Not terrible. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if we can actually augment this. This might be worth a chunk here. If we can get a good, uh, like an increased duration would be nice. Um, we could actually, you could also craft, craft that on using this. Um, sorry about that. This duration. Uh, but that, I think it's a different, it's a magnitude thing. So now we won't go that route. <laughs> That's actually a bad thing. All right. So back to this, we're going to augment this on and hope for something good. Here we go. Max charges is actually, uh, bad. Um, it could be good for somebody that uses a different kind of, uh, craft. Let's just see. We'll, we'll double check just to make sure. I don't think it's that good. Let's see. 10 chaos. No. Now here's the thing that might sell for 10 chaos, but I'm, I'm willing to re-roll over that. So we're going to roll again. Ignited. I don't care about that. The, the reduced charges would, um, technically help the duration issue because you're using less charges, which means it can refill faster, but that's not a big, big thing. What is that? It consumes 20. Normally it consumes 30. So it only, it would only it would get back, you know, it's saving eight recharges, you know, charges consumed normally 30. This one only takes 22. So it, it would come back up quicker. Let's keep on going. I don't like that combo though. So I'm going to reroll. And I don't like the Ignite one or that one. Less duration? Nope. So we're going <laughs> we're going through these. Reduced duration, increased effect. This might be good for a uh, Mage Blood person because they don't care about the reduced duration. So let's augment that on and see if we get something cool. That's a tier 2 roll. We know that because 15 to 17 on attack speed was tier 1. So there it is. So let's see what this one does. This one might be valuable. We'll just say increased effect because they don't care about the duration and we'll search for it. And a lot of people are rolling these and that's not that good either. So I'm going to keep going and I'll be right back. Less duration, immunity to shock. Let's check that. Just I'm curious. One chaos. Terrible. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've spent 21 of these alterations. That's about five chaos. And we were um, five-ish chaos in before. Um, so we're up to 10 chaos in, in costs. Um, we're about to spend about three more chaos by using this. Um, so we're up to 13 chaos in costs on this item. And, but we had it in our, you know, in, in actuality, we had, you know, some of these things. So it, 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 it wasn't a big deal. It's like maybe two, two or three chaos. But if you tried to buy all the things for it, we're going to use, we need another five of these and five of these because we're going to go to this crafting bench and we're going to put this right here oh let me show you why i'm going to i i stopped with this one i think uh quality 20 search i think we can get 30 chaos in this i'm going to try to sell it for 29 chaos the lowest one i just want to sell it um it's got i think that's a tier two yep um evasion roll it's got the three charges when you're hit um that actually might be a better way to do it with um once I, I might put something on there when you're hit let's take a look there might be instead of charges reaches full hmm no we want it to we want it this way we want it going going off all the time so it's going to take five instilling orbs and five of those bobbles and craft okay one second now the bobbles we've showed you before that if you go into like right here 
um, you can just come over here and if you don't have enough bobbles on you you can just jump in here and to talk to him you can go into act 10 and do it that way as well purchase right here and they cost eight blackstone uh, smith's weststone or 24 of these armor scraps for each one uh so that's 40 of the the uh the whetstones for one of the or for five of them which we need for the thing but if you or you can just buy them on the um auction house as well so let's take a look at the auction house price and we'll look at that in it looks like about one to four uh 50 k 20 chaos for 80 of them uh one one chaos for four of them so it's very cheap these are you know just barely barely cost more than a chaos to do that that enchant plus that probably two chaos so we put the uh charges equal full let's let's see how much this gets and we're gonna push this hidden button and we're gonna click that and then we're gonna say that and we're gonna go back and it should there we go now now it goes up to uh we're gonna sell ours for 35 sell right click I've got a sell tab we've been over that exact exact price 35 cool now I'm gonna update it maybe we'll get a sell really sale really quickly but that's nice somebody can you know it's already qualityed up um and we can go for the next thing now I'm gonna try to get a nice one that's better than this now there was two ways I could sit there and roll it or we could actually look on the the uh uh trade site so i'm gonna do that and hidden let's say it's already that actually i don't even care if it's that because i can put it on myself quality search Ooh, one divine yeah that's that's an expensive one with those things on there um let's go back to this and just say yeah i can definitely get better than this but that one they want one divine divine for so i'm gonna probably sell this one off for 120 chaos or something but this one is one of the one i'm going to roll and try to get better at so let's uh figure out which I, one i want i don't i don't necessarily i wouldn't mind movement speed actually i want to go faster so probably movement speed and i'm going to go look and find out if there's one a cheap one that's rolled and, and pre-rolled and then we can roll this one for anything so i'll be right back okay so i went out and searched for this one um probably faster for me to um, do it this way but um you're not going to be subjected to you know really uh specific needs um especially when you hit end game this is one of the first flasks i would do or first crafts i would do once i hit maps i really want to have this available to me it's that important it's really really nice to have this thing because uh, and I got one with movement speed, and I took one with the 22% chance to gain a flash charge when you deal a crit. Now the thing is, I think there's like a, a like a soft cap on the you know number of times that can fire per second. I'm not sure really sure what it is, but for now this was only 39 chaos. I'm happy with that, and what that allows me to do is start moving a lot faster. Let's see, well uh, with everything else as well. So let's say I have that going, and this going, and I'm just flying around, and I'm happy with this. A little more speed, it all adds up. So let's uh, craft this one into anything. Oh, gotta sell these. And I'll just invite that guy in. There we go, another quick 45 chaos. Not a good price for these this league, but next league I, I suspect they'll fix that. Okay, so let's, um, I'm gonna roll this and I'm gonna keep going with it. This one I'm gonna sell. Um, let's sell that one for 120 chaos. 120 there we go it might sell for 100 maybe 80 but that's fine i'll start at 120 and let's roll this one so uh let's turn that annoying automation thing off and how i do that automation is this plus life tap plus steel skin for my guard skill you could use a uh, molten shell as well and then withering step helps me move faster phase run helps me move faster plus it's uh qualityed up so it moves 10 percent increased movement speed on top of that and then these boots with the increased cooldown recovery rate reduces the cooldown on those so they fire off faster but we're gonna roll this one let's uh let's roll it um oh here's the augments and let's see what we can get i'll be right back 
This one's probably not terrible. It's not the best one, but let's see what happens here. Evasion. So let's take a look at this. With this and this, quality 20, um, it, it comes up at this price. So we can improve that just by going over here. And let's craft it up. So I'm going to do that. Charges re equal full. That's fine. So it's auto used. Now let's look at the price with the hidden one on there. And make sure to hit the quality and this and this. So let's see what it does now. 20, uh, 29. So I could sell that for 29. And I think I will. I'll sell it for 28. I'll be the cheapest one on the market. And I'm happy with that. I didn't spend much. I spent a total of... I rolled... Um, what was that? 25 of these. So we spent six. I had three of those. We probably spent 15 to 20 chaos total r rolling these three or less. And then a couple of those, that's nothing. And we're going to be able to sell. We're going to make enough profit to either buy the one you want, or you would just keep rolling and get the one you want. Now, I mean, if you want evasion, uh, you're you're good to go and you've just rolled it so i'm happy with this and we'll sell it for oh i don't know i think that guy just that was from a previous purchase um and then so i want to sell this for 39 or 38 i don't know something like that but that's how you roll them um you pick what you want as far as the attack speed. If we've got an attack speed on there and you want attack speed or you want crit strike, you just get that. Ideally, I like just out of the, I like having um, crit strike on my crit strike. I like having armor on my armor, and um, in this case, attack speed on my onslaught. I just like that. Um, you can do it either way. You can mix and match these any way you come up with. But I, I like doing that. So, and I think other people kind of tend to tend towards that. So I can actually increase this one. We can get better, better, better. I'd rather have like an increased duration instead. But um, maybe that'll be the next upgrade. This was only thirty, what thirty-five chaos, so it's not that big a deal. So that'll be my next upgrade. So I hope this helps. Um, <laughs> to now, I'm I'm getting to the point where I can go like this and like this, and I'm just flying around and having a blast. It's really cool. I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, let's go in and do a quick one. And the most important thing, I almost forgot it. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Charges re reaches full. So it's five and five of those. And you can buy the instilling orbs or you can find them. And let's craft that on there. And now it'll auto fire. Let's go test, test it out. <laughs> 